Hey, what's going on, everybody? Happy Sunday. Wanted to knock this uh, watch list out early, get it uh, get it recorded, and you know, hopefully get it uploaded soon. I uh, hope everybody had a great week and a great weekend. Um, we're going to go through some trade ideas, some day trades, uh, some possible swing trades, and we have earnings coming up. We have a short week also. Friday will be a holiday or observed as a holiday. Uh, for Easter. So uh want to make sure we at least get, you know, some good trades out there. Uh, as always, we're going to start out with uh, ES or SPY or SPX or whatever you're trading. And uh, last, uh, I think one of the last videos I did, I talked about uh, the golden pocket uh, from the downside. So we have ES, which is just respected this 4538 looks like, which is the 0.618. And it's bounced from there since. We didn't get acceptance. Uh, we did get a test of the ADMA on the weekly. So, you know, it was a wide range this week. Uh, what is that? About 150 point range almost. So uh, it, was, it was tradable for sure. It was definitely one of the better uh, trading weeks we've had in a long time. So I uh, hope everyone was able to make some money. Let's drop down to the daily time frame. Uh, we still can't really get above this 4580. Uh I think 45, right at the EMA, uh, 4511. Uh, if we can get something above that, I think we can get a, a positive trend back to the upside. You know, look something like this. You know, and, and, and eventually break up above 4580. So that's that's the ultimate goal. Um, as long as, you know, we, we stay below this EMA, we have a better chance of drifting and drifting back down to 4450, which is uh, really a line in the sand. You know, it's a, it's it's support. It's heavy support. We tested it, you know, a couple times last week. You know, we got one, two touches here and, and a bounce from there. So, you know, if it if it eventually breaks, you know, which is uh, not out of the realm of possibility because this is a bear flag, you know, then we can we can see a lot of further downside. You know, here's the the flagpole. Oh, that was sloppy. There we go. So we can break bear under forty four fifty. And it can get really ugly and come back down to the golden pocket and, and really just test the range again. That's all we're doing anyway, just chopping around in the range. So something to look out for. Uh, get acceptance above the ADMA 4510, 4511 uh, with the following target of uh, 4580 after that and everything in between. So SPX looks exactly the same. No difference. Again, bear flag. NQ looks very weak. Uh, broke bear. On the daily, sitting here at I guess low of the week, yeah, close right there. Uh, let's pull the fib and see what 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 we look like there. So we've lost the point three eight two. Line in the sand really is the point five, so fourteen thousand. Uh, can see a wick, you know, below that, and see a fourteen thousand holds. If fourteen thousand holds, we can see some more upside. Uh, lose that and really it's just back down to the golden pocket. So it's ugly. Tech does not look uh, healthy. Mm, trading, you know, substantially under the ADMA here. See what the weekly looks like. And same thing. Got a rejection from the golden, or excuse me, a bounce from the golden pocket. Lost the ADMA on the weekly. Double top. Yeah, tech, tech doesn't look good with earnings coming up. I think uh, Netflix is coming up first. So something to look out for uh have some trade ideas for uh scalps day trades i'll do a couple of those here in this video as well uh, you got apple with a triangle or pennant uh, i guess this would be a bear pennant uh so looking for a break you know ab above or below and the stops are very easy if you're bear you want to see this break you're going to target 169 if you are bull very easy you want to see it break above outside of this and get to 171 so a break of this targets 171 a break below this targets 169 it's a very simple trade very very easy on the 15 minute time frame so tesla right here at this support you know we have multiple touches and it's bounced every single time You know, what happens on a short week? Uh, I know we have production issues in China. 
but it's really thin under this uh, and we should look for it to hold and get another bounce at least to where's my tool at there we go at least to, to do something like this even if we we're going to break down we got to at least fill the rest of this uh, we don't have to do anything but uh, it just makes more sense we've had four touches four bounces uh albeit weak um so that's probably another reason you know uh tech is 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 running short so facebook i have a weekly idea on facebook i've been talking about this for a while i think eventually we trade back up to the golden pocket um earnings are what is that the 27 so two weeks away uh I think we get an earnings run on Facebook. I don't I don't think Facebook chops around much longer. I think we can uh get a move to the upside relatively quickly here. I think it starts uh if not this week, you know, early next week. Line in the sand though. Uh where are we at? Two fifteen is my line in the sand. You lose that and, and I'm back bearish on it. But as for now, I'm I'm really bullish on Facebook. Netflix falling wedge also a low of a week right there. I love falling wedges. They're very easy to play. Uh, you get down here and you're looking for a break um, above. So we do something like this. Eventually we'll run out of space and it's a very easy trade. We either break up or or down. And it's a long way down again. So Netflix has earnings coming up. Let's look on the daily here. The 19th. That is next week. So they're the first ones kind of based here. That's all we're doing. Just basing here. So we have nothing but chop. It's been untradeable for quite some time. And now we're either looking for uh, a break up, so make its way back up to at least resistance, so 461 somewhere, or a big drop below. I don't think we see anything that catastrophic, but this is just balance. I saw this is after an earnings reaction from last time. So now we have three months of just chop. So ideally, it, it this would want to hold and make its way back up to the upside. Filling the gap is a long, long, long way away. Very long way away. NVIDIA. I know we blew through the golden pocket. Uh, looks like it may retest. I don't know what's up with chips. I haven't followed the news on chips or anything like that. But uh, they're one of the last to reports, uh, or report earnings. 0.786 doesn't hold. Then I think we get a retest of this, this trend line here. I don't know what's going on with these tools. So lose the 0.786, last really, really line in the sand before coming down to the trend line. And, uh, you know, I'm a buyer here at this zone. I'm I'm a buyer at support almost every time, especially stuff like this where you just get crazy bounces. One, two, three, four, you know, five, five decent bounces. Um, risk reward very high again. Enter here, stop, stop is below. You know, you know where you have to exit. And if I can get a, you know, five or ten percent move in the name alone. You know, you know how that pays in options. Google's in no man's land. Looks like it wants to head to the golden pocket. It's basically there. Does it bounce from there? Unplayable to me. Completely chopped around. Hasn't been the same since touching. You know, the sky, right here. Uh, completely unplayable. I don't. I don't. I don't know how you play it. Uh, I know the split is coming up soon, and that'll really make it unplayable. But you know, if you, if if you have the guts to play a golden pocket bounce, um, you know, wait for it to hit 26. It'll probably do something impulsive and wick below, maybe at the 707, 2600, and uh, and go long from there. You know, 100 points out of the money. You know, a lot of that's the only way to, uh, that I can play it. Uh, Amazon's the same way. Uh, they're almost mirroring each other. You know, if you put them side by side, you know, it came off the lows, ran up. And, and and giving, you know, 50% of it back. You know, we've blown past the 0.5. Golden Pocket, again, it's a low-risk trade. You can wait for a bounce, wick below, get to 3,000, and, and buy 3,200 calls. 
You know, it's just really the only way to play it. Premium is so expensive. AMD, I'm really excited about here. You can play AMD crazy. Uh, looks like 100 wants to hold. We've obviously had, you know, several, several touches here. AMD, I don't think, wants to lose 100. we got earnings coming up May 3rd. Uh, it's three weeks away. Uh, does it chop around? Uh, I think I don't. Uh, I don't think there's a bad trade here if you can go long, because you know where your stop is. You lose a hundred, you lose ninety-eight. You know, maybe get a wick below like you did here, you know, ninety-nine, ninety-eight, and uh, and you get stopped out. But you know, I think going long here, one ten, one fifteen, getting back to the ADMA at least, you know, uh, one oh seven. You know, it, it can turn things around for you. So I think it's a low risk trade. You can probably get some one dollar contracts uh, one or two weeks out. 15, 20 points out of the money. So I think there's there's decent risk to reward there. Uh, upstart, same thing, support. Everything's at support right now. Plenty of touches. You have multiple, multiple touches. These are top watches for me this week uh, just because of the history. You know, I've got, I've got two, three, four, four solid, five solid examples of what happens when it touches this. Um, even if they're just their baby bounces, you know, you know, 91 to 115 isn't exactly a baby bounce, but you know, same idea as AMD. I can get very cheap contracts, you know, 10, $15 out of the money, um, and kind of front run it, get a break of this and it can run, you know, then we're just playing levels at that point. So a break of, you know, first you get to the ADMA 102, you break that, you get to the upper trend line. Now I'm just playing lines, and that's all I'm doing. I'm just playing lines. So uh, I'm a buyer here probably tomorrow, one or two weeks out. I'm looking for $1 contracts at some point, $1. fifty max, 10, 15 points out of the money. Uh, I got AMD up here twice. Let me close one of these. Shop. If you watched, it was either a watch list video or a live. It was probably a live. Uh, I talked about us trading inside this bar here. You know, we had 10, 15 touches and you can buy 800 calls or 650 puts and uh, the puts won. So uh, we're here at the golden pocket. It's blown past the 0.65. We'll see if the 707 holds before a bounce comes. Earnings in three weeks away as well. Nothing crazy here. Snap. Uh, I have this as a day trade. Uh, and possibly a swing. If this upper trend line is tested, you can get a bounce. You also have the 15 minute time frame where we're sitting right here at a trend line, the lower the bottom trend line. Looking for a bounce here as well. Square, got a channel here moving up. It's in no man's land. I don't like it right in the middle. So I'm looking for uh, either the ADMA to be reclaimed or the lower te uh, lower trend line uh, to come into play here. Looking for another bounce like we got, you know, right down here. So we got two touches here. So I'm either looking for another one of those or a push to the ADMA. Couple more here. Snow, another day trade. Uh, looking to get in, ride it open, or at least have my eyes on it, ride it open. Test of... Uh, this trend line down here will target 203 for me. So if we can break this, right, break this line, I'm looking for something like that. If we can get above and break the trend line here, I'm looking for something right there. So two, uh, two possible plays. Got to look for it first thing in the morning in pre-market. Last one, I got Bitcoin. The golden pocket lines up with a retest of the breakout. A prior breakout. So uh, it broke, gave 60% of it back. We're here at the golden pocket. And now we're here at 40,000. I think that's where, uh, I think that's where we get a bounce. I am bearish on Bitcoin until uh, we see what happens here. So this is a bear flag. Looks like it's going to break bear golden pocket bounce and we can run up from there. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, a like, a share. Uh, don't forget it is a short week. I hope you guys trade safe. We'll have some lives this morning, uh, or excuse me, this week too. So I'll probably do two or three of those out of the four days. Got the kid on spring break, so it will be hectic. 
Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Everyone enjoy the rest of your Sunday.